Hey guys, it's Kay. Of course, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you this beautiful wig I was sent from West Kiss Hair. Just in case any of you are interested, I'm going to go ahead and leave all the links in my description box. So they sent me over their 13 by 6 HD Body Wave Lace Front Wig. I have it in 24 inches and it is 200% density. I do have a small cap size. Keep in mind you want to get a cap size that fits your head. They do offer you small, medium, and large. Okay, so this is the hair wash. This, Like I said, this did come in a body wave texture. You know after you wash body wave texture hair, it does lose that curl that it comes with like that body wave type of pattern so it is kind of like a loose wave now i did go in and pluck my hairline i also went in and bleached my knots um i do believe that the hairline does come pre-plucked but it was not good enough for me so of course i wanted to go in and pluck it some more just so it can look a little bit more natural with this wig i definitely feel like you're going to have to go in and pluck the hairline because honey it just it wasn't working for me as you can see this is a full wig you guys i was so surprised looking back and seeing that it was only 200 percent density i just knew that it was 250 percent density because of how full this wig is it's really nice so if you like full hair honey this wig is full okay it was definitely not stingy with the hair Right here, I'm going in with my Got To Be Glue hairspray just to take down my lace. Um, I do prefer this over glue because I don't like anything permanent on my head. I do like to take my wigs off at night or even if I'm sleeping in my wig, I don't like to wear them that long because I do review a lot of wigs and I just switch it up a lot. So Got To Be Glue works for me now. If you like your wigs on for a long period of time, then go ahead and use glue. But if you're like me, I would suggest using Got To Be Glue hairspray and it works just fine. For me, I feel like this stuff only lasts about two days, y'all. Yeah, I would say two days. Now, if I mix it with the gel that it comes with, then I would probably say four days to probably a week. And that's probably pushing it. But yeah, I love, love, love Got To Be Glue hairspray. I be wanting to try some other products, but I don't really know what's out there that works like Got To Be Glue hairspray. If anybody have any recommendations that I should try, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I do take down my sides last just because I think it's much easier. I feel like the sides be needing extra attention just because for me that's the first thing that lifts so i try to do that last and put as much got to be glued as i can without it being nasty and building up so what i do is i start from the middle to lay my lace down and then i go on the sides and lay my lace down and i do have my blow dryer on hot and to me i just feel like that makes the got to be glue more tacky quick and after it tacks up, I go ahead and turn it on a cool setting and go over the lace again. And to me, that just works wonders. I don't know if it's all in my head, but that's what I do, y'all. So now I'm going in with my elastic band, and this just gives everything an extra melt. And as you can see right here, this is the texture after I wash the hair, which is so pretty. But I feel like where the lace was, the hair was a little bit more straight. And right here, I'm just pulling the hair up so I can do my baby hairs. And I do show you how I um, style one side of my head with the baby hairs, but not the other, just to cut down the time on this video. So I just basically carve out, mm, carve, that sounds like you cutting chicken or something. Um, but I'm just putting out or taking the pieces where I want my baby hairs to be laid. I am using my Nairobi styling foam to style my baby hairs. Now, you can use whatever you want to. Whatever works for you, you can use. Um, if you are interested in this stuff, you can find it at your local beauty supply store. Or I'm pretty sure if you look it up on Amazon, you can find it there. For me, I love using this stuff because it doesn't make my baby hairs all hard and crunchy. So if I wanted to, I can go back over it and comb it out just to give it like a nice finish. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But yeah. 
And can we just give it up for the white nails, y'all? I am really loving my nails white, okay? My nails are going to stay white all 2021, okay? Like, seriously. Am I the only one who is really loving short white nails? I really don't love short nails, but because I got this newborn baby, y'all, it's a struggle. And I just can't be a mother with long nails, okay? <laughs> I really might be embarrassing myself right now, but I definitely have a quick story for y'all behind these white nails. Okay, so real quick. I went to the nail salon to get my nails done, of course. So he's doing my nails, and after he's done, he tells me to get up to wash my hands. Y'all, when I got up to wash my hands, I looked in the seat, and it was nothing but blood in the seat. Mind you, this is my first time coming on my period after I had my baby. So I didn't expect my pad to fill up that quick. Like, my flow was heavy, okay? Do y'all know how embarrassing that was? And good thing I had on black, y'all. But I hurried up, and it was early in the morning, so it wasn't really nobody in there. So I had to hurry up and get a paper towel and wipe it up. But that was the most nastiest, disgustingest thing that ever happened to me, y'all. But anyway, right here, I used my wax stick to just mold my ponytail how I want it to be just so everything can be slicked and laid down and I know you can kind of see the track on the sides but I'm not really worried about that because I did not wear this head like this wasn't the hairstyle that I was wearing out the house so don't mind that but actually the ponytail covers it up anyway but if I was to actually wear this hairstyle out of course um I would cover up the tracks that's showing so just letting y'all know. And also, another reason I didn't wear the half up, half down, even though it was really cute, but it was too thin. Like, the ponytail was really thin. I would suggest, if this happens to you, getting some bundle hair and just wrapping it around a ponytail. But I didn't want to dig in all my stuff to try to find some bundle hair, so I just let it be what it was. But I'm taking my little Gucci scrunchie and... I think this is a whole vibe. That's what it looks like with the scrunchie and with the hair still in its natural state. And I do go ahead and straighten the hair. So I'm going to show you how it looks as a half up, half down straighten. And I hurried up and took out the ponytail so you really couldn't see it. But this is the hair straighten. I did miss some pieces like in the back so it is still a little wavy. But for the most part, the hair straightened so nice, y'all. Right here, I'm parting my hair down the middle. I did decide to go with a middle part and just wear my hair bone straight. So that's what we doing right now. And honestly, I really think that this hair turned out very beautiful. As you can see, you can do a lot. Of course, it's a 13 by 6. You can do a lot with a 13 by 6 wig. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm not really going to talk too much after this because y'all get it. But, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all so much. And, of course, y'all gonna see me in the next video. So, enjoy the rest of this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in my comment section down below. And if you like what you see, the links will be listed in my description box. Just in case any of you guys want to go ahead and purchase this wig.
All right, so these are my end results. As you can see, I really had fun styling this wig. This wig is freaking bomb, y'all. Like when I look how sleek this looks. Besides my braid, I hate. I'm gonna have to like take out these braids and put my hair in a sleek ponytail. But yeah, that's sticking up right there because that's a braid. But I don't know why this side the braids are more flatter than this one. It's just this braid right here. But anyway, if you look past the braid, like y'all. So this is all the head towards the back and let me just turn around so you can see. Do y'all see that? Like, 